Hey all, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I am Darren, of course, and today I'm gonna do another uh, cook in my series on the Four Sixes Ranch beef. And today we're cooking up top sirloin fillets. So these are just cut from the top sirloin and they make them into the shape of a fillet. So I'll, like I did before, we're gonna do some prime rated, grated, and then some choice grated top sirloin fillets. All right, guys. I'll be right back. All right, all like I said, we have some top sirloin fillets here from Four Sixes Ranch. And like I said, there's top sirloins, so they're not filet mignon. <laughs> tenderloin so these are top sirloins but they're cut like a filet so but we're gonna go ahead and take these out of the pack and we're gonna season them up a little bit with my all-purpose black garlic which is salt pepper garlic a little onion powder black black garlic I'm sorry and a couple other little seasonings in there to uh, mellow it out the black garlic actually is a little bit more mellow than regular garlic it's got a smokier more umami type flavor than regular garlic so if you haven't tried black garlic, check it out below. The all-purpose black garlic seasoning pretty much goes on everything. So check it out. So we're going to season it up with that today. But all right, I'm going to get these out of the pack, guys, and then we'll season them up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I want to get you a little closer up there so you can take a look at these top sirloin fillets here. So these are the choice. I got six of them there, and you can tell... They're not quite as marbled as these prime here. So you do have a little bit of marbling here, a little bit more marbling here. But like I said, we're gonna season these all up just the same. A little all-purpose black garlic. Like I said it's got salt, pepper, black garlic, a little regular garlic, a little onion powder, a little herbs and spices there secret blend so you can check that out on the website or right below actually so you can see i got some big salt chunks in there and like i said i'm actually going to um, reverse sear these on the rectech bullseye so i'm going to go ahead flip these over get them seasoned up on both sides and let them kind of sit for a few minutes suck up that salt with a little brine while the uh, temperature is coming up on the Rectech. And we're gonna do the Rectech starting out right about 220 or so. And just do a nice slow and slow, get these nice and smoky. Get them cooked right up to about 122 or so. And then we're gonna sear them off. Alright guys, so I got my Rectech here. I just turned it on low, which on this particular pellet grill, low is the um, right around 200 or so. It can't really get much lower than that um, because this is the grill that gets super, super hot for searing. But I do want to make sure I clean this off a little bit. And when this gets up to temp, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, steaks on just so that we can, uh, like I said, reverse searing. You're just really doing a low and slow, getting some smoke to these steaks till they get up to right around 120, 122. Then we're going to take them off. Then we'll be able to crank up this pellet grill up to 900 degrees or so to get a nice sear on it. So it shouldn't take long for this to get up to temp while our steaks are sitting there and brining in some of this uh, all-purpose black garlic seasoning. All right, I'll be back, guys. All right, it's a little over 100 degrees right now, <clears throat> so I'm not putting the steaks on yet, but I'm gonna put a little of this spray oil on just to kind of get these uh, grates kind of non-stick. We don't have to worry about it later on when it gets too hot. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and get these on since we're not really 
waiting too long. So here are my prime, and here are my choice. I'm going to kind of put the choice over here on their own. Like I said, I'm not too worried about these overcooking, but I'm going to monitor them with that combustion ink thermometer anyway. Just so I give a warm and fuzzy feeling. So there you have it. Let's get these going on the reverse sear, get some smoke to them. I'll be back. All right, I'll just kind of wanted to show you here. Um, these are getting some nice smoke to them. I'm going to let them go for another few minutes because we're at about 119 right now. And I want to get just a little bit more smoke to them. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I think we got enough smoke on these now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. And we're going to crank up the heat. So I'm going to put all my choice on this side. And like I said, I'm going to take a couple of those thinner ones. And we're going to put those on the sear first because I need those to get medium, around medium well or so. So what I'm going to do now is crank up my heat all the way to full, which is supposed to get up around 1,000 degrees. And we're going to see how close we can get to that. It's going to take it a few minutes to get there, of course, going from 200. But I'm even going to take out my combustion ink thermometer here because I don't want that to uh, get too overheated. So I'm just going to let that heat up, let these steaks kind of sit here and wait. Then we'll sear them off, finish them up. I'll be back. All right, guys, just wanted to show you. I'm going over 800 degrees now on this Rectech Bullseye Deluxe. A lot of people don't understand how this pellet grill can get so hot, but it is pretty hot. So I'm going to go ahead and open the top up here and just kind of show you how this thing is going. Look how red that plate is. We're going to go ahead and get these seared up. I've got my primes going first. They're not going to take long. My choice. A little over a minute on each side. I'm going to close that up so we don't lose so much heat. But you get the point, guys. That thing is hot. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn these quarter turns so we can get some good grill marks on here. Then we're going to let them... Uh, sear up just a little bit more. I'm going to give them a flip and do the same thing. About a minute and a half or so on each side. Doesn't really need much longer than that because this is a super hot fire. I'll be right back. Alright guys, here we go. Check them out. Get a little closer there. Yeah. Now, since I didn't sous vide these, they're going to be a little tougher than some of the other steaks I've done, but here's my choice. Here's my prime. I'm going to go ahead and do the prime first this time. Woo. Check it out. Nice and medium rare for sure. Still real warm. Really nice. Well, it's not quite as tender as the filet mignon. But it is pretty tender. And it being the prime, it's got a little bit more juice to it. Let's go ahead and take the choice. Ooh. And again, nice and medium rare there. So you can see that good. Still, it's tender, just not super tender like the filet. But. For top sirloin, and it not being sous vide, it's really tender. Got a nice smoke to it. Super good sear. Awesome. 
Check it out, guys. The four sixes steaks. And these are the top sirloin fillets. Check them out. Mmm. Check out the fire and water cooking all purpose black garlic seasoning right below. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you. We got one more four sixes video to do. And I'll be back. Thank you.